Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Pools of Darkness. <clears throat> Let's read Journal Entry 35, Storm's Story. When the cities disappear... I think I did him, I'm doing his voice wrong. I don't even I don't remember what I was doing. When the cities disappeared and the world grew dark, we were all frightened and clung together for comfort. It was not enough to save us. By ones and twos and sometimes whole families, we began to disappear, taken as slaves by the drove. My sister was captured. She is a child. Just a child. I followed the slave train. The slave train! And crept into her pen to try to release her, but I was captured as well. The drove took us to their slave pens, and from there my sister and I were taken, along with many others, toward a hill. A hall. Sorry. Behind me I heard Keenan intermingled with shouts of great joy. I had heard from an old human woman that some of us would be culled from the group and killed to make an evil potion. I cursed such a fate, but I prayed that, for my sister's sake, the end would be swift. Instead, we were led through, it, through the temple, and half of us were pushed through a door while the rest of us were driven through the dimensional pool into this world of webs. The drow overseer jeered at us. Lucky, lucky, luckiest of all, he said. You will serve the great... I should probably read this as his voice. You will serve the great Callistes herself or be served to her, depending on what tasty morsels you are. I could not bear this thought. I watched for my opportunity to escape the slave train, but I was not able to bring my sister with me. Take me with you. I'll help you fight Callistes. Anything to save Arta. Okay. Uh, quick note. While it might be useful to have him earlier in this area, uh, if, you go, if you are ready to go up a level and you go train, he will leave you. So, um... Yeah, you don't want to get him too early. Callistes has a taste for dwarves, such as my sister and I. We were put on a slave train, and only by luck did I escape. My sister remains behind. It amuses me that they have the journal entry, and then they have this little summary. In case you don't have the journal or something. Take me with you. I'll help you fight Callistes. Just help me save Arta. Let him join? Sure, why not? We'll topple Callistes together. And now there is a ray of hope for Arta. Let's see what he has. He has a helm. I want that helm. Battle axe, plate mail, light crossbow, and 38 bolts. Probably all magical. Okay. Um, he has decent strength, too. Um, good constitution. Uh, good hit points. And he is really, really young. He is only 25 years old. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, let me alter the order, and I'll get him up there. Okay. Alright, let's get out of this area. I think. I don't think I need to do anything else here. No, I don't. No, wait. Yes. Yes, I do. You find a locked guard shack. What do you do? Let's bash. You succeed. You find weapons. I'll take the bolts, and Moonshadow will take the arrows, and Elmandred will take the scale mail. Uh, but it's no good. Okay. There seems little else to find here. face is too steep to climb. Yeah, okay. Um, fix and rest. Ah! So, uh, yeah, that's Storm. And I cannot see the dro. Where are they? Where are they? That's an interesting plant. Hello, Dro. Oh, there they are. There's only two of them. Okay. Well, it could be worse. Can he see them? No, he cannot. Can 
Can she see them now? Yes, she can. I'm not going to bother with her. I forgot to look to see what uh, level he was. Level 12. Wow, only? Whoa. Um, she is probably low on space. So... Oh, wait. Wrong person. Duh. Um, ah, she can take him. Let's see what's on those scrolls. Detect invisibility, dimension door, and haste. Invisibility, power word, kill, and reduce. Fire shield, fumble, and mind blank. Hmm. Let's try uh, scribing. Right, she has those. Okay. I'll leave that as is. Um, and you will lose them in the uh, uh, when you uh, transfer back to um, uh, the realms. So you probably want to you just use them. Flee. Trees slouch under dark, heavy webs. You glimpse a ruined city. Do you enter? Yes, I do. Okay. Um. <laughs> you see a slender cocoon among webs. Open it. Yes. Let's see. Do those combine? Yes, they did. Cool. All right. Uh, those are those should be javelins plus four. Drill guards fall upon you. Maybe they shouldn't be so high. Ah! Oh, great! Oh! For that, oh, I need to rest. Ah, uh, that wasn't very good. regular fireball this time. There we go. 
What did I get? Um, okay, some more arrows, so let's have her take those arrows. She is overloaded. Let's trade the scale mail to her. And nothing good. Okay. And I cannot rest here. Well, that's crummy. Okay. Uh, where was I? Where was I? <laughs> a large drove patrol moves your way. Disguise yourself? Yes. They grumble amenities and move on. Woohoo! Probably could have fought them, but I won't. No, that's not what I want. I want to go here. You discover a trap door in the webbed ground that clanks up. When, uh, you discover a trapdoor in the webbed ground that clanks when you step on it. Do you lift it? Yes, I do. You find Elfin Chain. Um, just wearing regular chain mail. Let's see. Let's compare that with the Elfin Chain. Negative seven. Negative seven. Okay, so that Elfin Chain is cooler. Spiders boil out of the hole. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them too. I hate spiders. Let's go after that one back there. And well, maybe she can take a both of them. Ah. Found no treasure. I feel ripped off. Ah. I feel like totally slaughtering them. I might get some of my guys, but oh well, I can heal them. I actually didn't hit quite as many as I expected it would. Treasure. Uh... You hear hoofbeats. A drider gallops up and promptly speaks. No, well, the value of nothing. The drider gallops off before you can make any response. Well, that's just weird. Well, I think that's. Seems a little else to find here. Yep, we're done. Yes. No. Alright. Let's fix and rest. Okay. Okay. Uh, flee. A village stands beside the road. Do you enter? Yes, I do. Right. The webbed ground rustles. Trap doors open all around you. Spiders. Yeah.
Yeah, I suppose I should. Castle. Oh well. Oh, that's it. I found no treasure. Well, shucks. Um. Alright, let's uh, go this way. Actually, let me go this other way. I'm gonna circle around the other way just because uh, um, I am discovered. Great. Here, how about you discover the joys of a fireball? Let me pause it. All right, took care of those spiders, and um, yeah. So I don't want to go the other way because there's an there's an event that I want to uh, do last. So I will do these other item these other events first. Joe Tri Dro children run among you, playing tag. As they bump you, you grow suspicious. You grab one's wrist. Your purse is in his grubby hand. Pickpockets, what do you do? Let's lecture and let go. Free, they taunt you from a distance and leave. You were discovered. Oh, oh, geez, there's a heck of a lot of them. All right, let me pause it while I uh, take these guys out. All right, I took care of that patrol, and um, I completely forgot where I am. Okay, I'm there. All right. You spot a dark, ominous cavity. Do you reach in? Yes. Ooh, treasure. It's just money. But it's also experience. An unbroken wall of gossamer comes into view. I'm not sure where this wall is supposed to be. It is Callisti's parlor. You spot Locust ahead of you just now reaching the wall. Her drider mount is flighty, as is her escort. This is recorded as Journal Entry 14. And where is Journal Entry 14? There it is. Locust's arrival. Continue? Uh, okay. Locust gives a great cry, and the party halts before what appears to be an unbroken wall of tightly packed gossamer. It shimmers in the pale light. Locust's mount rises up on its rear forelegs and waves the others, both Dro and Spider, about its, its face a mask of fear. Locust drives it down with a word. Even from a distance, her jaw appears set, and her eyes burn fiercely. She waves back her escort, many of whom take the opportunity to simply turn around and ride away. She holds up both hands, palms out, and waits. After a breathless eternity, the gossamer wall erupts. Spiders of all shapes and sizes squeeze their way through, or leap off the top, or pop up through trap doors and scuttle toward her. Her escort turns and runs, but Locust waits. Two pets appear among the spiders and approach Locust in a slow, almost stately, sidelong manner march, tossing aside the unlikely, the unlucky spiders that get in their way. They stop in front of Locust. They sway back and forth, legs waving about, thousands of eyes glittering. Then they turn and disappear back into the wall. Locust clenches her raised hands into fists and screams as the rest of the spiders continue their advance. Spiders erupt from the interior. Some boil over the wall to cut off retreat. You watch in horror as Locust is devoured alive. Ooh, well. Ah. That was, uh, that must be an unpleasant, unpleasant way to go. Well, let's go ahead and try to enter. As you reach the wall, green spiders scurry forward. They shy away from the ward of safe passage. Ooh. You are in the foyer of Callisti's parlor. Pets scuttle about, but the ward keeps you safe. Yay! Let me actually go go ahead and end the video here, and we'll pick it up in the next episode, exploring Callisti's parlor.